My name is Maria and this is my organization exam. The curriculum will be more social regarding social movements and also an inclusive and diverse education. The subject of civil values and ethics is included in the last level as a compulsory one. It includes working on human and children's rights, gender equality, Spanish constitution and respect for the surroundings. This way, schools can be given orientations from the authorities in order to develop super programs and curriculum enrichment. And schools become more autonomous regarding timetable. Now they can manage some of its lesson time, but only to work on basic competencies. Something similar happens with the school board, whose function was limited with the previous law. Families and teachers take part in it, and every, even students in secondary education. They can also approve the educative projects and the general programming of the school. And finally, they have a voice when selecting the effective teacher. Of course, the digital competence wider and greater in order to create an environment of permanent learning. Primary education organization changes and now is organized again in three levels with a global and unifying per perspective. Meaningful learning is fostered and a transversal approach is taken. This way, collaborative learning must be fostered. And to do so, teachers will develop PBL, a PBL approach and students will work in problem solving collaboratively. And finally, families involved in the school community as part of reading and literacy programs. Now my program regarding coexistence. I think taking this perspective when developing a program is absolutely essential according to the multiculturalism reality of Spain, the globalization of the population and the humanitarian crisis we currently live in. I will carry out my program based on participative leadership and transformational leaderships, since I think schools as complex systems are not really led by only one person and it is essential for a principal to work hand in hand with the rest of the staff. Democratic learning by holding monthly meetings with the teacher staff and the student representation in order to address any inquiry, suggestion or concern. Also to conduct a voting regarding any matter related to the school. Practice with the community for everyone to have a voice inside the school environment. Bring families into the school to make them part of their child education process and to try and make them participate actively in the school context. Include politics as a common topic in lessons, not for convincing the students with ideology they should have, but for them to be aware of how politics influence in their life since an early age and how it affects their existence. I have a good example here, Trump, and how his love, his politics and his words affect you, but also your classmates, who might be no Spain, but he or she might be Muslim or Ecuadorian. Promote bilingual lessons. Not in English, but in the language spoken by a student. I mean, give them the possibility of studying certain subjects in Chinese or whatever the language. Especially for those students whose mother tongue is not Spanish, as it is equally important for them to speak Spanish, but also to maintain their identities. Respect and encourage minority rights. If we talk about Santa Claus at the school, why don't we talk about Ramadan or Chinese New Year? I think if these traditions were treated at the school, children would know about them and thus students will see them as part of their own reality, which will make them more tolerant. I will mark myself with a 9, as I have been able to evolve in the beginning of this course, and I think that it's observable in this exam. Also, I have put lots of efforts and dedication from the beginning because of my motivation in this subject, and for my desire of learning new things to use them in my future as a teacher, or why not, as a school principal. Thinking about the schools as complex organization. I have always thought about the school as a simple system with the students, teachers and management and staff, but I have never considered the schools as organizations with connection inside, outside and within them. I have never thought about how knowledge emerges through connection and how these connections between the people who exist in the same uh, school along with the school environment and the people in the community, all of it tailor knowledge uh, development. I'm more aware now of the necessity of investing more in educational researches since school and thus education are in continuous change. Also, I truly believe Spain needs of consensus when preparing educational laws, not only between political parties, but also between them with actual educational experts. 